Okay. Are you ready? No. Yes. No. Why no. <laughs> not? Why not? <laughs> okay. Rational function. What grade you gonna encounter? Grade eight. Grade eight. Na grade eight. Hindi mo alala kasi modular online. What is the root word of rational? Ratio. Ratio. And when we have ratio, <coughs> ano synonyms? Ang ratio. When we have ratio, ano ba yung ratio? Give me an example of ratio. One is to one. Two is to three. Tama? And this can be written, pwede siyang isulat as two over three. Tama? So, ang ratio, tinatawag din natin siyang fractional form. Or fraction. Fraction form. Okay. Tandaan nyo na. Now, anong bawal sa fraction? Jared, anong bawal sa fraction? May bawal ba kay fraction? Yes, De Castro. Okay. Bawal maging zero si denominator. Very good. Bakit ba bawal maging zero si denominator? Hindi na siya fraction? For example, 2 over 0? Ano na magiging tawag na sa kanya? Ano tawag doon sa kanya? Cannot be. Tama. Hindi mo pwedeng i-divide si 2 sa wala, sa 0. Anong tawag? Error. Hindi siya improper? For example, if you have one apple, Sana may apple tayo dito. Sinabihan ka ng friend mo, i-divide mo nga yung apple na yan into zero. <laughs> friend! Parang dapat nasa mandaluyong ka. How can I divide? How can I divide this apple into zero? So hindi mo madedefine, right? Ito yung tinatawag natin, undefined. Oh, the encounter is undefined. Encounter nyo ba? Okay. So, sa function naman, a rational function, let's say f of x, is a function of the form, function of x is equal to g of x over h of x. Wherein, h of x is not equal to 0. Bawal maging zero si denominator. Kasi magiging Hey. Where g of x and h of x are polynomials. Or what are the different types of polynomials? Paano pag single? Monomial. Pag two terms? Monomial. Pag three terms? Monomial. Okay? So, ayun. Now, let us find first the domain of the rational function. Pag sinabi natin domain, ano ba si domain? O, na-discuss natin introduction. X. X lang ba? Domain are the values or the possible values for x. x. Tama naman, x. Or tinatawag nating ordinate, ah, absisa. Absisa kapag nakagraph na tayo. So, domain, ano daw yung domain ng mga given function na ito? So, to find the domain, let us find first the restriction or the restricted values. Yung mga bawal dito sa mga functions. Let's say dito sa f of x is equal to 1 over x squared minus 4. May bawal ba tayo dito? 
May bawal ba na value ng x? Sabi niyo kanina, find the domain. Sabi niyo, x. Siyempre, kukuhin natin ngayon yung value ni x. May bawal ba ngayon kapag sinubstitute natin dito si x? Positive 2. Positive 2. May mga sumasagot ng positive 2. How about negative 2? Hindi. Bawal din siya. O, sir, paano nagawa yun? So, solve natin. Yung x squared minus 4, equate lang natin sa 0. Okay? Bakit sir 0? Kasi yung hinahanap natin, dapat hindi siya magiging equal kay 0. Now, yung makukuha nating value dito, siya yung magbibigay ng value sa denominator na 0. So, sila yung bawal ngayon. Okay, dito, extracting the square root, pwede, right? So, kasi perfect, and perfect number. So, x squared is equal to 4. Now, get the square root. x now is equal to? 2. Positive, negative 2. Okay. Yan yung value ng x ngayon na magiging 0 si denominator. Gets? Yes. Sir, nakalimutan ko na mag-extracting the square root. The another way is by factoring. O, factor natin yan. Yung dalawang parentheses. Now, ito, factors niya x and x. Since this is negative, isang plus, isang minus. Factors of 4, perfect siya. So, 2n. Now, equate to Zero. Yan yung ginawa natin. So, x is equal to negative 2. While the other one, x is equal to positive. Positive and negative 2. Yan yung bawal. Try nga natin i-substitute. 2 squared. 4. Minus 4. Zero. Magiging zero siya. And bawal yun. Negative 2 squared. 4. Minus 4. Zero. So, we can write the domain of this function as x such that x is not equal to, ano daw yung bawal? Positive 2 and negative 2. That's the domain. It can also be written as domain x such that x is an element of real numbers such that x is not equal to positive, negative 2. Pwede din po yan. So, that. Or kaya, yung words mismo, x such that x is not equal to positive and negative 2. Yung pure word ang isulat natin. Gets nyo yun? Hey. Hey, number 1. How about number 2? Function x is equal to x over 1 minus x squared. So, similar sila ni number 1. Oh, may sagot na kagad. So, solve muna natin by extracting the square root na lang ulit. So, 1 minus x squared is equal to 0. Sir, why extracting the square root? Kasi perfect square in first term and perfect square din yung second term. Now we have 1 is equal to positive x squared. Right? Now extract the square root. What is the values? Or what are the values? Positive, negative is equal to x. So the domain now is ano? x such that x is not equal to positive negative. Or kapag ayaw nyo ng ganyang form, pwede din namang x, o sulat nyo na buo, such that x is not equal to plus minus 1. Pwede din naman yan. Pag ayaw natin ng short ka. Kuha? How about number 3? Very easy. Anong bawal sa number 3? Negative. 
Equate that then. X minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is 1. Is it positive, negative, or simply 1? 1. 1 lang. Tama? Kasi, pag sinabasita natin, 1 minus 1, 0. How about si negative 1? Magiging negative 2 yung denominator. Which is pwede. Kasi wala tayong restricted. So, the domain is x such that x is not equal to ano ba? Positive. Okay. Number four. So, this is trinomial. So, factor out natin. x squared plus x minus 12 is equal to 0. Hanapin natin yung restricted values po na. Trinomial na siya. So, factor out na tayo. Okay. Factor ng numerator, x times x. Ma? Factors ng negative 12, dapat ang sum nila ay positive 1 or 1x. So ano? Padami kasing factors si 12 eh. 12 times 1, 6 times 2, 4 times 3. Ano ang kukuha natin dyan? 12 times 1. 4 times 1. 12 times 1. 12 minus 1. 11. Ang layo ng 11 dito. Siyempre, itong malapit na ta. 4 and 2. Kasi, 4 minus 3, 1. Siya yung nasa middle term dapat. So, alin ang plus? Si 4 or si 3? 4. Si 4. Bakit? Kasi positive. Okay. Foil natin or check natin. 4 times negative 3, yun dapat yung lalabas. Si negative 12, the constant. Next, para to verify the middle term, add or subtract. 4 minus 3, 1. So, ito ngayon yung ating perfect factors. Now, x is equal to negative 4 at yung isa, x is equal to positive. Now, the domain x such that x is not equal to negative 4 and positive. Pwede natin i-check Sige nga sir, check nga natin. Checking tayo. Checking. So, copy the numerator. Hindi naman natin pinapakialaman yan. Copyin lang natin. Tapos, substitute natin sa negative 4 yung denominator. Negative 4 square minus 4 minus 12. Huwag na pakialaman yung numerator. Negative 4 square, 16 minus 4 minus 12. 16 minus 4? Minus 12. Zero. zero. Magiging zero siya. So, bawal talaga si negative 4. How about si 3? So, magiging 3 square minus 4 minus uh, minus 3 minus 3 square minus 3 minus 12. Para may mali. Plus to, oh. So, dapat plus to. 3 square? Uh -huh. Diba? <laughs> 9 plus 3? 12 minus 12. Yun. So, dapat, check din nyo, kapag mali ka ng sign, kabahan ka na. Ibig sabihin, ala, ba din siya ng zero? There's something wrong in the process. Can you do number 5? O, oh, mental. Anong bawal? Perfect, perfect. So, napakabilis. Positive and negative 3. So, the domain is x such that x is not equal to positive, negative 3. Paano nakuha? x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. 9. x is equal to, extract the square root, positive, negative 
Oh. So that is the process on how to find the domain and range of rational function. This time, copy, then prepare for a sit work.